Good morning, Carew. It is Sunday, December 19th, and I was going to talk to you today about the Project for Awesome, which is a YouTube thing done by John and, and Hank Green, try to raise money for charity. Before I do that, though, I wanted to show you that uh, you are not the only one who has snow, although we have much less snow. So let's go outside and check out the snow. First time out this morning. And it's nice out here. It's... Now that I've gotten the snow thing out of the way, um, I uh, want to talk about Project for Awesome. So <clears throat> I'm going to eat my oatmeal because eating and making videos at the same time is the best way to get your point across, don't you think? So anyway. Uh, John and Hank Green started the Project for Awesome four or five years ago now, and they, uh, basically the idea initially was, was, it was kind of a grassroots thing where they were thinking about how YouTube, uh, highlights videos, and they thought, you know, what if we could create a logo, and they, and at that time you could, you could get a thumbnail that you wanted on your video really easily just by putting in a specific place in the video. And so they made a thumbnail that then they passed out to all their viewers and they said, make a video for a charity and we'll as a group all go and comment and watch these videos as intensively as we can um, for 24 hours and they'll all be the most popular videos on YouTube. So they did this and it actually worked. So when you opened up the main page of YouTube, which at that time just showed the the, um, the highest trending videos, um, all you saw were the same thumbnail on every video. And, uh, and so they basically took over YouTube for a day. And it was all for charity. And so um, it's grown since then. And all of the big time YouTubers do it now and uh, participate. And uh, the channel itself, YouTube, actually helps them organize it and, and facilitates it um, for them. And I guess they set up a live stream, streaming show yesterday. So anyway, it was Friday this this um, year, and I put up I put up a couple of videos for for um, for Project for Awesome, and uh, I guess I did one two years ago, and I did one this year. Um, and unfortunately, because I had to go to Vegas, I didn't wasn't able to put as much time into it as I would have liked. But but one of the things I noticed watching these videos was that. Um, most of them, if not all of them, are for these big national charities. So, um, you know, if you if you go like their their uh, uh, save the children, their cancer prevention, their Audubon, their um, Nature Conservancy, you know, they're these big, uh, huge um, charitable charitable organizations. And, um, and some people are really good about, you know, they, a lot of people put up things that they're associated with. But um, I did one for the Children's Museum because obviously Sarah's president. And I thought it was a, a nice little local charity. So it's small, it's something local. And it made me think about the fact that, you know, everybody seems to be looking for, um, you know, it's like this vision of grandiosity. The idea that um, that what they're going to do is is going to save the world, and they're going to raise ten thousand dollars for save the children or something, and and they're going to save children 
who are out there in these poor third world countries who are, who are, you know, don't have enough to eat or can't get clean water or whatever. And, and all those children need, need help, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I think about uh, Pendleton in particular. There's, there's a lot of volunteerism in Pendleton. Now, a lot of it is related to stuff like the Roundup, which isn't really a charity. Um, but, you know, everybody who's involved in kids' sports, you know, obviously I'm, this is all about my ego. So, you know, the amount of time that I've spent coaching soccer in the last um, eight years is just enormous. Um, and I look around now and, and there's kids like graduating with Carew and kids who graduated a couple of years ago who I know and I'm friends with now and who, um, you know, I know that that um, I had effect, an effect on their lives, and maybe it wasn't a huge effect, but, you know, I, I gave them an opportunity, and I worked with them, and and, um, and I think about the positive effect of that, and, it does, and then I look at, like, particularly Sarah's work with the Children's Museum, and, uh, you know, the incredibly positive effect that's had, um, and I think that, you know, that there's tons of these local charities, these small local charities, um, that most people aren't even aware of, and I think um, it's it's interesting that in this forum, this project for awesome, everyone's focusing on the big, far away things rather than the small, simple things in their communities. And I think that one of the things people can do um, is is actually spend time doing things that they like to do. Um, you working with swimming, I mean, even just just. Uh, just officiating a, a swim meet. It's, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that actually has, the, it facilitates something that's a positive outcome within the community. And it may not be the same as donating money or going to a third world country or doing Doctors Without Borders or something. But I think in a lot of ways it's sustainable. It's more sustainable for most people. And the ability to do something sustainable and long-term in your community and touch people's lives um, has a longer, has, I think has more of an impact than dumping a bunch of money into a large um, organization. And I mean, and it's not an either-or situation, but it just seems like the balance has shifted way towards um, the large organizations. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you get a chance to make some of the videos you were talking about and show me what real snow looks like. Until then, I am still dead in Pendleton, Oregon.